Hello everyone, I'm Space Mike, and I've discovered this week that SpaceX hosted a secret workshop to discuss what it would take to actually colonize Mars, so we need to talk about what's being discussed at this secret meeting. Welcome to Epic Future Space. It turns out this secret meeting isn't exactly secret, but it's not exactly open either. It's by invitation only. And SpaceX is hosting the conference. They're co-hosting it actually with the University of Colorado Boulder where the event is being hosted at. And the people that are being invited to this are some of the most influential engineers and scientists and movers and shakers in the rocket industry that could make this project happen. Some of the confirmed attendees to this conference were representatives from all of the major NASA centers, NASA NASA Ames, NASA Johnson, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, as well as NASA headquarters. But there was also representatives from JAXA, Maxar Technologies, doing MDA, as well as, as a whole bunch of different universities. There was representatives from all over the space industry that are interested in colonizing Mars. Now we don't know exactly what's being discussed at this conference, but based on the plans that SpaceX has released over the past couple of years, first with their ITS interplanetary transport ship, and then their BFR, the Big Falcon rocket, it definitely seems like they are serious about sending large amounts of cargo and people to the surface of Mars. But what to do once they get there? There's a lot of steps that need to be accomplished before thousands or millions of people could be living on Mars. And there's lots of things that the space agencies around the world want to accomplish on Mars before we start sending people and contaminating the planet. But aside from human exploration and even colonization of Mars, a lot of the Mars science types are very interested in Mars sample return, where we could actually return a sample of Mars to Earth so we could study it and get a lot of the data that we haven't been able to get with the different rovers that we've sent to Mars already. So aside from the science that we need to accomplish at Mars before we even think about setting up habitats there, of course there needs to be the first missions, the, the flags and footprints missions, the first human missions to Mars. And that's what NASA's goal is right now. They want to be able to try to send humans to Mars within the 2030 time frame, hopefully before the end of the decade, I suppose. Although with the shifting focus of sending humans back to the moon and doing a lot of the studies in lunar orbit in preparation towards sending humans to Mars, it might be a while. We might not get there in the 2030 decade, but that's okay as long as we do things the right way. And maybe this conference is part of doing things the right way. With SpaceX organizing this event independently and bringing together all of the interested parties who have a vested interest in accomplishing this goal, maybe they really can focus on all the different technologies that are needed for humans to not only survive the trip to Mars, but survive once they get there and have happy, productive lives. Now this isn't exactly a new thing. United Launch Alliance hosts conferences and workshops like this all the time, especially for their Cislunar 1000 plan and what technologies are needed to enable a lunar gas station network so that we can start sending missions all over the solar system. So this isn't a unique thing that SpaceX is doing, but it is at least for, for this topic, so to speak. There's lots of different Mars conferences that occur every year, but to have this type of event, you know, being hosted by SpaceX with this invitation only and kind of high profile people that they want to have attend this and kind of keep quiet about what they talk about there, that tells me that there's something really exciting that could come from this. You know, anytime the, the, the big people get together, like at the International Astronomical Congress, when all the different heads of the space agencies from around the world sit down and talk about what they want to accomplish, especially regarding human spaceflight and robotic exploration of the solar system, just, it really gives me hope for the future. So it's events like these that could really make a difference for our space future. And oof, there needs to be a lot more that could be happening towards United Launch Alliance's plan of their Cislunar 1000. And there's a couple of contracts that NASA has awarded recently to do just that and study all the different technologies that they're looking at so that we can start sending even more missions all over the solar system. So I'm very excited about this and I cannot wait to find out more information about this conference. And maybe in a month or two, we're gonna get an update about the whole BFR and BFS uh, Big Falcon spaceship in um, a month or so. so 
I'm really excited for what that update could be and for the progress that SpaceX has made over the past year. I want to know what you think though in the comments about what technologies you think that SpaceX and NASA and JAXA should be focusing on to in order to get us to Mars and for what purpose. Do they just want sample returns or is it really for colonization or is it for something else? Maybe there's they're planning the resurrection of the whole Red Dragon missions. Who knows? But let me know what you think. What do you think is the whole purpose of this? Thank you very much for watching this video and be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. And if you're interested in supporting the show, you can help me out at patreon.com slash epicfuturespace so that I can start going to even more space conferences and getting awesome interviews and just doing so much more cool stuff in the space industry. So again, thank you very much for watching and until the next time I see you guys, keep moving onwards and upwards and don't forget, Ad Astra to the stars.